Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic minimum shift in MSK. Minimum shift keying, that is MSK. Minimum shift key modulation is another type of digital modulation technique used to convert digital signal into analog signals. It is also called minimum shift keying, that is MSK, or advanced frequency shift keying because it is a type of continuous phase frequency shift keying. MSK as CPFSK. MSK is highly suitable for cellular mobile communication. The minimum shift keying, that is MSK, is a special type of continuous phase frequency shift key that is CPFSK technique. Here the peak frequency deviation is one fourth of the bit rate. In CPFSK technique the modulation index is m is equal to 0.5 or if the frequency spacing delta f is equal to 1 divided by 2 T suffix B, that is bit duration. Such a special case of CPFSK is termed as minimum shift key. The frequency spacing delta F is the minimum shift that permits coherent deduction of the orthogonal signals. Continuous phase frequency shift keying signal S of T can be expressed as S of t is equal to square root of 2 into E suffix b divided by tb cos of open bracket 2 pi f suffix c t plus theta of t close the bracket. Consider this is equation 1 where theta of t is a phase of S of t and it is a continuous function of time. Theta of t value is equal to theta of 0 plus or minus pi h divided by t suffix b into t. The value of t is between 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T suffix b. Consider this is equation 2 where plus sign corresponds to sending symbol 1 and minus sign corresponds to sending symbol 0 in equation 2. On comparing Equation 1 and 2, we deduce the relation for f sub c, f1 and f2. f sub c plus h divided by 2 into capital T sub b is equal to f sub 1. Consider this as equation 3. And f sub c minus h divided by 2 into capital T sub b is equal to f sub 2. Consider this as equation 4. Solving equation 3 and 4 for f suffix c and h, we get f suffix c is equal to 1 by 2 open bracket f1 plus f2 and h is equal to capital T suffix b f1 minus f2 where f suffix c is the carrier frequency and h is the deviation ratio. Principle of MSK a yeah, CPFSK signal with a deviation of one half is referred to as minimum shift key, that is MSK. Here, the value of peak frequency deviation is equal to 1 by 4 bit rate, that is 1 by 4 capital T suffix B. The modulation index value is equal to 0.5. Theta of capital T suffix B minus theta of 0 is equal to pi H for symbol 1 and minus pi H for symbol 0. For sending symbol 1, the phase of a CPFSK signal S of T increase by pi H radians whereas for sending symbol 0, it reduces by pi H radians. The phase of a CPFSK signal is an odd or even multiple of 
5H radians with bit duration capital P suffix B is called the phase tree. The tree gives an idea about the phase transition. The variation of phase theta of t with time t follows a path of straight line, the slope of which represents frequency changes. When the deviation ratio h is equal to 1 by 2, then the phase takes theta of t is equal to plus or minus pi by 2 at odd multiples of capital P suffix p. And theta of t is equal to 0 and pi at even multiples of capital T suffix B. Phase trail is, is a tree like structure with re emerging branches. Each path from left to right through trellis corresponds to a specific binary sequence input. The path shown in bold face in this figure corresponds to binary sequence. 1101000 with theta of 0 is equal to 0. MSK constellation diagram or MSK signal space diagram. Constellation diagram of an MSK signal is two dimensional with four message points. So here is a representation of MSK constellation diagram. Here, the value of n is equal to 2 and the value of m is equal to 4. In MSK, the transmitted symbol is represented by one of two message points at any time depending on the value of theta of 0. Signal space diagram of MSK. We may express the modulated signal s of t is equal to square root of 2 e suffix b divided by t suffix b cos of theta of t cos 2 pi f suffix b t minus square root of 2 e suffix b divided by t suffix b sin of theta of t sin 2 pi f suffix c t. The deviation ratio h is considered to be 1 by 2. So the value of theta of t is equal to theta of 0 plus or minus pi divided by 2 capital T suffix B into T. The limit 0 less than or equal to T less than or equal to capital T suffix B. The plus sign corresponds to sending symbol 1. The minus sign corresponds to sending symbol 0. For the time interval minus capital T suffix B less than or equal to small t less than or equal to capital T suffix B the polarity of cos of theta of t depends only on theta of 0. The phase of theta of t is equal to 0 or pi depends on the past history of the modulation process. For this time interval minus capital T suffix B less than or equal to T less than or equal to capital T suffix B, the in phase component SI yes, of t consists of a half cycle cosine pulse defined as si of t is equal to square root of 2 e suffix b divided by t suffix b cos of theta of t that is equal to square root of 2 e suffix b by t suffix b cos of theta of 0 cos of pi by 2 t suffix b into t that is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 e suffix b by t suffix b cos of pi by 2 capital T suffix b t. That is the duration minus capital T suffix b less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T suffix b. The plus sign corresponds to theta of 0 is equal to 0. Minus sign corresponds to theta of 0 is equal to pi. For the time interval, 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 capital T suffix b. The quadrature phase component sq of t consists of a half cycle of sine pulse. That is sq of t is equal to square root of 2 into capital E suffix b divided by capital T suffix b sine of theta of t. That is equal to 
square root of 2 e sub x b divided by capital T sub x b sin of theta of t sub x b sin of pi by 2 into capital T sub x b t. That is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 e sub x b divided by t sub x b sin of pi by 2 t sub x b t. The limit 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 capital T sub x b. The plus sign corresponds to theta of t sub x b is equal to pi by 2. The minus, minus sign corresponds to theta of t sub x b is equal to minus pi by 2. For the time interval 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 t sub x b, for symbol 1, theta of 0 is equal to 0 and theta of t sub x b is equal to plus or minus pi by 2. For symbol 0, theta of 0 is equal to pi and theta of t sub x b is equal to plus or minus pi by 2. For the carriers, MSK signal S of t contains orthonormal basis functions phi 1 of t, phi 2 of t. They form a pair of sinusoidally modulated quadrature carriers. The value of phi 1 of t is equal to square root of 2 divided by capital T sub x b cos of pi divided by 2 into t sub x b t cos of 2 pi f c t for 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T sub x b and the value of phi 2 of t is equal to square root of 2 divided by capital T sub x b sine of pi by 2 capital T sub x b t sine of 2 pi f c t 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T sub x b. We may express the MSK signal in the expanded form as s of t is equal to s1 phi 1 of t plus s2 phi 2 of t. For the duration 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T sub x b. The value of s1 is equal to the low end limit is minus t sub x b, the upper limit is t sub x b, integral of s of t phi 1 of t dt, and that is equal to square root of capital E sub x b cos of theta of 0, and the value of s2 is equal to the lower limit is 0. The upper limit is 2 t sub x b integral of s of t phi 2 of t dt that is equal to minus square root of capital E sub x b sine of theta of capital T sub x b. MSK transmitter representation is shown in this diagram. MSK receiver block diagram is shown in this. Advantages of MSK. The MSK signals have continuous phase in all cases. The MSK baseband signals are smooth. The MSK waveform has no amplitude variations. The main lobe of MSK contains 99% of the signal energy. The side lobes of MSK are comparatively small. In MSK, there is no requirement of bandpass filtering of interchannel interference. Due to continuous phase existence with MSK waveforms, problems due to abrupt changes in phase are avoided. The Gaussian MSK derived from MSK is highly useful in wireless environment disadvantages of MSK. In MSK, the bandwidth requirement is high when compared to other key techniques namely QPSK. The modulation and the demodulation process in MSK is complex. Synchronization is not good in MSK. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.